hello everyone in this video we have specially arranged important questions from the subject anatomy the first subject of bds and that too in the first year so we can understand facing an university examination for the first time will be a hectic and will be a stressful position so this attempt is for you first year bds students who can with the help of these specially arranged questions can help to which will help the, help you to attend the exams with full confidence and better performance so we have arranged it into chapter wise from the previous year questions so let us start with the first chapter osteology in osteology we uh, have uh, many important questions starting from tmj tmj is the one of the most important joint coming in head and neck anatomy so when they have asked about sa of tmj we have to write about the bones involved ligaments muscles movements associated with tmj applied anatomy and the development also so they have also asked about styloid process and its attachment which includes the styloid apparatus question and superior orbital fissure have been asked once as 5 mark you have to tell the boundaries and the contents passing through superior orbital fissure and uh, some vague questions have been asked like types of bones with examples there of more basic anatomy like uh, you have to tell about all the long bone uh, flat bone irregular bone and all the other types with examples you could also also mention about the endochondral ossification and the membranous ossification types of bones they have asked about membranous bones in one 5 mark you uh, they have also asked about synovial joints in one another paper and uh, considering ligaments they have asked spino mandibular ligament and ligaments of atlanto axial joint so these two ligaments have been asked especially articular disc of tmj have been asked as a five mark separately so epiphysis that is a part of a long bone have been asked as a five mark hyoid bone and its muscular attachments have been asked moving on to the next chapter skull and cranial cavity to start with scalp and blood supply nerve supply of scalp have been asked as separate five marks dural foldings in which include tentorium cerebelli falx cerebri and falx cerebelli among which tentorium cerebelli and falx cerebri have been asked as separate five marks dural folding in general have also been asked as a five mark cavernous sinus is one of the most important dural venous sinuses in essays they have asked as enumerate the dural venous sinuses and explain in detail about cavernous sinus its relations and the boundaries all those things cavernous sinus have also been asked as a separate five mark question sometimes a vague question like middle cranial folds are may appear you have to tell about the bones involved the foramen and the content passing through and the content so the next chapter is nerves nerves actually in your anatomy book there will be no such chapter like nerves but we have arranged certain questions under the topic nerves so it will be easier for you to remember for nerves you will have an order to remember like the origin the nuclei of origin the muscles or the, the whether it is a motor nerve or a sensory nerve um, the ganglion through which passes so it has a specific order for nerves so if you are interested in learning in the specific order please do us uh, let us know in the comments below we will explain you the how to write an answer for a nerve how to write an answer for muscle type of questions so let us move to this subject In nerves we have they have asked about a trigeminal nerve which is one of the most important cranial nerve facial nerve so without trigeminal nerve and facial nerve your first year syllabus will not be complete you have to mention about all the three branches if they ask in general trigeminal nerve sometimes they will ask like like uh, mandibular division alone you explain or maxillary nerve division alone you explain in essays in that cases you prepare for that they have also asked about bell's palsy in a five mark facial nerve paralysis is known as bell's palsy when they ask about facial nerve as an essay you have to mention the nuclei emergence course etc and also the extra cranial course alone have been asked as a five mark sometimes they have asked about auricular temporal nerve lingual nerve and um, inferior alveolar nerve separately oculomotor nerve is the third uh, cranial nerve which is also an important essay they have asked about nuclei components course relation branches and the applied aspect in general they have asked about nerve sub nerve supply of tongue nerve supply of uh, scalp have also been asked and they have also asked about spinal accessory nerve cauda tympani nerve and dental innervation and alveolar nerves both have been uh, appeared twice as five mark questions 
so the answers will overlap for the question dental innervation and alveolar nerves it is your topic it is your field so you should be thorough with it moving on to the next subheading ganglion and the nerve plexus they actually overlap with nerves but for your understanding and to learn for the ease of learning we have curated the questions into a separate heading in under ganglion we have four parasympathetic ganglion which we can never forget otic ganglion submandibular ganglion ciliary ganglion and spinopalatine ganglion so these four the path secretor motor pathway we we have to know by heart before going to exam and they have asked about the secretor motor pathway to parotid gland separately as a five mark also ansa cervicalis is a neural loop which for, which is formed in the neck you should know the contents and the uh, purpose of ansa cervicalis they have also asked about cervical sympathetic chain brachial plexus the cervical part alone and uh, some general questions like neuron you have to explain facial colliculus you should know the how facial colliculus is formed mostly they may ask in two mark or viva type of questions moving on to neuroanatomy concerned with the brain medulla pons medulla and spinal cord those content so in neuroanatomy starting with cerebrum they have asked the functional areas they have also asked about the superior lateral surface of cerebrum and uh, moving on to more general content floor of flow fourth ventricle is often repeated question it is also known as rhomboid fossa then interpeduncular fossa has also been asked internal capsule corpus callosum fornix are often repeated questions you should also learn about lateral ventricle and subarachnoid cisterns and the flow of cerebrospinal fluid those content tectum of midbrain have been asked and spinal cord is a general question so it contains many other parts so moving on to the next content the blood vessels when blood vessels are concerned you need to know the parts of the each artery or vein you need to know the drainage if it is a vein or lymph lymphatic system and you need to know about the organs which it supplies so the blood vessels the main blood vessels include external carotid artery and internal carotid artery both have been asked as essays in veins they have asked inter external jugular vein and internal jugular, jugular vein and among the other arteries facial artery maxillary artery among which the first part alone have been asked as five marks often and a dangerous area of face is must remember is a important point to remember vertebral artery have been asked as sa circle of willis have been asked of thalamic arteries to remember and the lymphatic drainage of tongue and face both have been asked as five mark questions among the veins anterior facial vein and emissary veins in general have been asked blood supply to spinal cord and scalp should be remembered and middle meningeal artery and its clinical significance everything needs to be remembered moving on to the glands among the gland almost you can see the four main glands which is often uh, been asked as an sa thyroid gland submandibular gland and parotid gland and pituitary gland among the uh, glands salivary glands the submandibular duct and parotid duct have been asked as five mark questions so you need to know all the relations the part the divisions the part the function everything moving on to another division of anatomy embryology when talking about embryology for dental aspect they have often asked first and second pharyngeal arches as separate five mark questions in general about derivatives of pharyngeal arches and derivatives of pharyngeal pouches have been asked development of palate tongue and face are the three main things which you need to be concerned cleft palate have been asked somites are group of cells which differentiate into uh, many other parts so you have need to know about somites in general uh, tongue muscles come from occipital somites so it is of your dental importance and uh, development of tooth for this you can you know much more than a five mark question because your entire oral histology in the initial parts will be fully about de development of tooth so for a five mark you need to write it a cut and short fertilization and oogenesis have been asked as five mark so therefore they can also ask spermatogenesis similarly they can also ask about neural crest cells as a five mark or mostly in viva point of view it is an important question 
moving on to the next important subheading muscles similarly you will never find in your book like muscles this chapter is not about muscles there will be nothing like that in your anatomy book uh, they but uh, this heading has been given for your easy understanding and easy learning we are always ready to explain each muscle for you if you are interested please let us know in the comments and uh, coming to muscles there are certain group of muscles to be remembered muscles of larynx muscles of mastication muscles for the movement of eyeball muscles attached over mandible and muscles of facial expression so and also muscles of tongue which we will deal about when you, when you are writing an essay about tongue intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of tongue are a must so these muscles are general can be asked as an essay at any time among the muscles of facial expression orbicularis oculi have been asked separately as a five mark ones and buccinator have been asked sternocleidomastoid have been asked as a five mark question and torticollis also have been asked as a five mark question which is a complication related to sternocleidomastoid hyoglossus muscles which is one of the main intrinsic muscle of tongue have been asked as a five mark separately among the muscles of mastication lateral pterygoid muscle is uh, asked as a five mark posterior cricoarytenoid muscle of larynx is asked as a five mark question and um, extraocular muscle and lateral rectus have been also asked levator palpebrae superioris muscle and platysma are also common five mark questions moving on to the next main chapter larynx pharynx and oral cavity under larynx we have to know about in general the entire larynx can be asked as an essay cavity of larynx have been asked as a five mark vocal cords have been asked as a five mark and in pharynx we have this nasal pharynx constrictors of pharynx subdivisions of pharynx have been asked as a five mark in constrictors of pharynx you also need to know about the structures passing in between in general tongue have been asked as a 10 mark question many a times palatine tonsil valdez ring have been asked Killian's dehiscence is a part behind the pharynx which also ne you need to know and the clinical significance of Killian's dehiscence is must soft pal palate have been asked and as you could see here cartilages of larynx alone separately have been asked as a five mark question the next chapter is nasal cavity and para paranasal sinuses in nasal cavity chapter middle meatus of nose lateral wall of nose nasal septum uh, the formation and innervation of nasal septum the lateral wall of nose have been asked as an essay many a times and uh, regarding paranasal sinuses maxillary as sinus is the most important paranasal sinus in general describe about each sinus have been also asked as an essay moving on to the next chapter ear and eye regarding eye you have only few questions tenon's capsule orbital fascia structure of eyeball and layers of retina is what they have asked till now in the past few years about eye regarding ear you have auditory tube tympanic membrane pharyngotympanic tube that is eustachian tube organ of corti pinna the external ear the muscles and the nerves related to it medial wall of middle ear and middle ear cavity have been asked lacrimal apparatus in general have also been asked so the necks and triangles of the neck suboccipital triangle posterior triangle have been asked as an essay carotid triangle have been asked as an essay carotid sheath and its contents have been asked digastric triangle have also been asked as a five mark question moving on to the next division of uh, anatomy histology regarding histology you need to it is a must you should draw the diagram of histology with uh, more than answering the question the diagram is more important with the diagram you can e easily write up to five, uh, five points for the answer so uh, starting with the histology of sensory ganglion retina palatine tonsil serous and mucous salivary gland histology of compact bone histology of the pituitary gland and histology of hyaline cartilage have been asked transitional epithelium cardiac muscle histology of cerebral cortex and histology of elastic artery have been asked diagrams are must for histology in general for anatomy diagrams give you more marks so please practice with diagrams once once you start learning for your exams 
so other topics which are not very oftenly repeated but once or twice they have been asked about esophagus they have asked once investing layer of deep cervical fascia they have asked once face in general essay they have asked once which for which you need to include development of face artery veins and nerves supply the motor and sensory lymphatic drainage and applied anatomy are should be included under the essay so we saw about a uh, wide range of topics important questions to learn under anatomy the mentioned questions are arranged heading wise for easy learning they are mainly these questions are mainly referred from the tn mgrmu tamil nadu doctor mgr medical university from the year 2009 to 2023 that is almost 14 plus years so it is just of all the previous year questions i suppose all the uh, university follows almost the same important questions i try my level best to compare this with other university syllabus also for now this will give you an idea of the important questions of anatomy so regardless of the university which you are affiliated to please follow this as your baseline to learn and uh, see you soon in the next video if you have any other subject for which you need immediately important questions please comment us below